We're here in Tallahatchie County, Mississippi, with a gentleman named Catfish Flout and his family. He runs one of the very few commercial operations in Mississippi. The great part about the Tallahatchie Hunts operation, it's a hunt that, you know, with a phone call, you can call and end up hunting some of really the finest private ground in the Mississippi Delta. Well, we're in Tallahatchie County, in the heart of the Mississippi Delta. We're about 100 miles south of Memphis, about 130 miles north of Jackson, Mississippi, about 50 miles east of the Tallahatchie River. We're right in the middle of what we call duck heaven. I'm excited about what we've got going on this morning. Uh, Catfish told me at breakfast that he, uh, he used to have a spot called the number one duck hole and now they call it the old number one duck hole because this is the new number one duck hole and wait for sunrise and see what number we get but I, I'm already hearing ducks in the air. I have pretty high expectation for the morning. <laughs> Well, it was crazy. When we walked in there, there were birds swarming around us. Uh, they were running into each other uh, at first light. Literally, we were watching birds flying into each other in midair. Look at that wood duck come through here. <laughs> in addition to, uh, to myself on this hunt, we had a friend of mine named Ramsey Russell. And in addition to, uh, to Ramsey, we were joined by two gentlemen from Remington's facility in North Carolina. Matt, their shotgun and rimfire expert, and then Ed Mazio, who's their shotgun product man. You got him out front? Ready? Ready? Here we go. Ready? Go. Nice shot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. That gets us on the board. What happens here in the Mississippi Delta is the birds that are coming down the Mississippi Flyway, as well as some of the Eastern Flyway birds, birds that are essentially coming from north to south on the North American continent funnel into Mississippi, Louisiana at the bottom part of their migration. And what you have here in, in the Delta region is just an incredible amount of habitat and an incredible amount of waterfowl. Truly hundreds of thousands of ducks are in this area. Um, you know, my experience so far hunting waterfowl in Mississippi is absolutely bar none. I mean, there's tons of birds. We're eat up with them and uh, they're flying, they're active, and they are aggressive. You ready? Take him, take him! Good shot! <laughs> you know, I don't ever worry about shotgun or ammo performance. I mean, this stuff just works flawlessly all the time. Matt, I can tell you a story. Uh, the first time I laid eyes on the hypersonic steel was in Manitoba, hunting um, ducks and geese out of layout blinds. And, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, I used to pop up out of a layout blind. I'm getting a little longer in the tooth and I don't come flying out of there with the doors open like I used to. And you know what I found with this hypersonic steel was that the speed of this shotgun shell made up for my lost abilities. From the right, good much. <laughs> Let's go. Get him, get him, get him. It's terrific stuff and I will tell you, not only is it fast and get out there, but once it gets out there, boy, it puts those ducks and geese on the ground. It, it's impressive stuff. It sure does. In fact, I've been shooting stuff for about a season and a half now myself. I really, really like it. I've actually been able to step down a shot size and increase the density of my pattern with, uh, with hypersonic. That added energy at all ranges through, uh, through all uh, chokes, uh, constriction, and other designs is fantastic. Uh, and you're right, it does make up for a little bit of error on the, uh, on the shooter's side. You lose about eight inches of lead uh, just because of the velocity on this thing. So, you know, about eight inches to a duck length is what most people tell me that they are seeing in terms of an improvement on those fast crossers and the high passers and things. Take them. Sweet, sweet. That is exactly how you do that. We're fighting the light winds and full moon, and we're going to have to just fight our way through it, I think. We're going to go out this morning, get some uh, flooded timber, and uh, we're going to find a lot of ducks. We're going to get them early. We're going to hit them hard. We've got just a, a terrific, crisp morning again, and probably one of the most majestic duck holes I think I've ever seen in 40 years of shooting. We're getting close to legal time and we're getting ready to go. So as soon as the clock strikes 6.30, off we go. We expect some ducks to get in this hole early, but we expect 
some ducks to work here throughout the morning. We, we, we not, don't necessarily have Fast and Furious shooting at first light, but I suspect as the sun gets up, we get some sun on the decoys, and we'll really start getting after them. So it'll be a great day. Day number two, everything was clicking. It was hitting on all cylinders. Um, we got out there early. The birds were moving early. They kept moving all day. <laughs> Somebody call it. Go! Shoot! That's a good Shoot. dog! Three down! All right! Great well shot. Well done, fellas. Woo no Great shot. Good job, buddy. Reload. That makes everything better. Unfortunately, I can't hear myself think over this, that train. Good Lord. Tallahatchie Hunts, one of the few and one of the best commercial waterfowling destinations in Mississippi and the Delta home for Remington Country hosts Doug Larson and friends for the duration of the hunt. And Larson's excited about shooting in the place known as the new number one duck hole. Good shot. All right, green head down. Got more confidence. <laughs> Ramsey's on the scoreboard. <laughs> that was a neck snapper there. Primary duck here is our mallard. We get a lot of pintails here, uh, a lot of wood ducks. Wood ducks stay here year round. We get a lot of gadwall in our sloughs. The blue winged teal come in September. They're the first ones here and the first ones to leave. We've had a, quite a few redheads this year, quite a few canvas backs. When you're calling to ducks in the south, the longer those ducks are over the hole, the more likely it is that you're going to have a problem. So when you, when you see a flock of birds, no matter how far they are away, start calling hard and fast, get their attention, get them down over the hole as quickly as possible, get them to start making circles and try and get them to finish and commit. Fold her up. <laughs> Great shot. Who shot. shot that, Doug? Yeah. You don't think I shot like it, do you? Good, Good job, Doug. We had a terrific morning, but there comes a time in every duck hunt when it turns from the importance of shooting ducks becomes secondary to the importance of getting something in your stomach. And I think we've got some hungry hunters here, and I think we're going to head for breakfast. But what a terrific morning. I love this Mississippi Delta area. I love to be down here. And if there's anything better than shooting mallards in the sunshine, I don't know what it is.